Hi, this is Sridhar. Today I am going to explain you about the conditional parameter substitution and the string handling. How will you extract a substring from the given string? First we will go for a conditional parameter substitution. In the conditional parameter substitution we will be discussing about colon hyphen and colon equals and colon question mark. These uh, parameters we'll go, we are going to discuss. First we will check colon minus. The colon minus it will check whether the given variable is defined or not. If the given variable is defined then it will display the value of the variable var. If the given variable is not defined or it is null. If the variable is not defined or the value of the variable is null. At that time it will display the value of the next parameter. That is, it will display the value present in the second argument. That is, variable not defined or otherwise you can, here itself you can define the value of a variable. You can set the variable also. Let me explain about this. Initially, the var, var variable is not defined, I guess. Let me check. Var variable is defined. Var1 or VA. VA variable is not defined. Now I am going to display the value of the variable VA if it is if it exists if the value exists that is if the va variable VA is defined and it is not null then it will display the value of variable VA. If it is not defined then it will display the value variable not defined. the variable VA is not defined so it will display it displays the va variable not for not defined next we can also let me define the variable VAR1 equals emp.lst and I am ex ex executing this again colon iphone dollar v a r 1 I am displaying the value of the variable v a if it exists and not null otherwise I am displaying the value of variable v a r 1 v a r 1 is a variable I am going to display the value present in v a r 1 v a not exist so it displaying the variable value v a r 1 v a r 1 is employee.lst here if you omit the colon symbol if you omit the colon here I have omitted the colon symbol in that case what it will do it will check whether the variable exists or not if the variable exists but the value is null then then it will display the value present in this variable here the variable var1 exists but the value is null in that case it won't display this the second part of the string it will display the value present in var1 that is a speciality of inc not including colon symbol if you include colon here then it will display the value present in the second part if you omit this colon symbol then it will display the variable var1 var1 variable exists but the value is null here so I am going to display the variables value var1 iphone without putting colon then here it will display the value present in var1 if the same thing if I put colon here what it will do it will check for the var1 variable if it is not defined or if it is null if it is defined but if the value is null or if it is not variable itself not defined then it will execute the second part of the value variable not defined so colon minus is this one and colon equals means here it will just display the value here the value will be assigned to this variable 
the value word will be assigned to this variable parameter only if the parameter is not defined or the parameter is defined but its value is null only in that case the word will be assigned to this variable parameter see here i am assigning the value unix to variable 2 var2 only if the var2 is not defined or the value of the var2 is null let me check the value of var2 is null so here i am assigning this value unix to var2 variable only if the value of var2 is null or it is not defined displaying the result now again i am checking for the variable value var2 i am getting the result previously i didn't get the result now after executing the statement this unix will be assigned to this variable var2 only if var2 is null that's why i'm getting the result echo var2 unix here also we can omit the colon colon if you omit the colon if you omit the colon it will check it will check only for the variable exist or not if the variable exists but the value is null then only the first part will be executed it won't assign the value unix to variable 3 let me execute it separately now the variable var3 exist but the value of var3 is null so in this case what it does i am omitting the colon symbol so it won't assign this unix to var variable var3 because the var3 already exists but it is null so if you omit the colon it won't work for the null values if the variable exists but it has the null value then the first part will be executed if you omit the colon symbol now if you display variable var3 it will display null value that's what i have written here if you omit the colon like shown in the second form the default value is only used when the parameter was unset not when it was not in when it was empty next one is display the error if null or unset i just want to display the error i don't want to assign a value or i don't want to assign any value to the parameter in that case what you can do you want to ju just to display the error message alone then you have to put colon question mark colon question mark means it will check for the check for the value of the variable parameter if the value is null or the parameter variable itself not exist then it will just display the error message here also you can omit the colon symbol variable var name does not exist in that case it will display the error message error var name is not defined or is empty it will just display the error message if the var name exist then it will display the var name value var name equals 4 if i am displaying if i am using echo statement it will display the variables var name value and it won't display the error message echo var name 1 then it will display var name 1 not exist though in that case it will display the error message if you omit the colon symbol then it will check for the variable if the variable exists but the value is null then then it won't display the error message for example here itself var name 1 equals null again i am displaying var name 1 i am omitting colon then the second part will not be executed that is the error message will not be displayed it will display the null var name 1 variable here itself uh, you can run the command also if the in the question mark if the check if check for the variable exist or not if the variable does not exist then display the error message and also here here i am displaying the error message and also run the following commands 
display an error message and run the command here i am checking for the dollar 2 parameter dollar 2 value if the value does not exist then i am checking for the value dollar 2 i am checking for the value dollar 2 dollar 2 does not exist then what it does colon question mark it will display the error message and also it will execute the command the command is i am just copying file 2 to file 3 new.txt you can execute any unix command inside this parenthesis preceded by dollar symbol parameter 2 not set displaying the error message and also file 3 new.txt is created just now 1237 Next we will discuss about the shortest substring match in the next session. Thanks for watching.